From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for Up Close and Personal here on The Horse's Mouth. Back at the bar, back at Tommy Max. Brought to you by my good friends at Bruss Nutter Wealth Advisory Team in Ponte Vedra Beach. My guest this time around is Colby Harris from Grit. Dot org. Let's welcome him in. Colby, how are you, my man? Great, Tommy. Thanks for having Great me on. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. I know Brian, your uh, your business partner in Grit.org was here, but you're here as well to talk more about what you guys are doing. The camp just got over with. So let's remind everybody what Grit.org is. Yeah, so Grit.org is really the parent company, and under Grit.org, our main goal is just to build various programs and businesses all designed to help people build more grit. So whether okay. you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, all the way up, to an 80-year-old just really trying to help them find ways to build more grit and fulfill themselves, lead a better life. Grit, you know, that's a great word because you got to have a lot of grit in a lot of different – I know as a football and you're an athlete too, like you, you got to have grit. Like you got to tough it out sometimes even when the chips are down, right? Yeah. And I know in society grit may be like kind of a lo- – not lost because a lot of people still have grit, but I know the younger generation, they may not have as much grit. So how do you – How do you teach? Can you teach grit? Absolutely. I 100% believe you can. So our summer camp is designed to develop mental, physical, and emotional resilience. And that's really what we believe grit is all about, is all those coming hand in hand. So at our camp, you know, obviously we host anywhere between 30 to 80 kids a week. Okay. Uh, And our main goal is to just get them active, teach them a thing or two along the way, and then really get them to buy into our grit creed, which is 12 principles we believe everyone should lead their life by. But a good example is just teaching these kids how to live with things when they don't get what they want. So right. if we're not playing right. a game they want, I mean, that's the, the right. first instance of teaching these kids how to build grit is just not getting what they want, accepting it, moving forward, and still giving that effort, giving that passion. See, you, it's, you say resilience, which is good, because I know in today's you know, climate, you can't say toughness. Right. right. Right, but that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. And, right? I mean, that mental, that emotional, that physical – toughness that grit that you have inside you yes absolutely and i think the way that really you know it's no different than you or me going to the gym to build a muscle your mind works the same way to build that your mind is a muscle you need to train it you need to do hard things that's why we really believe in early morning workouts is it going to give you a better workout is it going to maximize your gains this and the other not necessarily, but it's going to be a challenge and it's going to kickstart your day. And right. that's what the resilience and the grit is all about. It's just doing things that are challenging to bear set yourself up for success. So I, I, one of my, my tweets today, I sometimes throw out some motivation. And mental toughness you can find in the weight room without Absolutely. a doubt. Like that last set where you don't want to do it with that last few reps, you, you got to tough it out. Mm. Or, you know, like if you're doing leg press, it's going to fall on you. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You're either pushing it or you're not, you know, but it does. It develops that mental toughness. Yeah, for me, that's really where a lot of it started. So for everyone listening, Grit University is really the genesis of the true grit.org mission. So that's our entrepreneurship internship program okay. where college-age students get the opportunity to run a business somewhat in a controlled environment under Brian, who really helps us develop okay. it and grow it. But each day, Monday through Friday, you start with a 6 a.m. workout. Yep. And I can promise you after these 10 to 12-hour days of working, not to mention running camp with kids, yep. which is debatably twice as stressful as yeah. any other situation you could be in, that wake-up is extremely challenging. Yep. I mean, ev- yep. every single day. But as soon as I walk out of the gym, after I finish just giving it my all, yep. I feel set up for the day. I feel like anything you could throw at me, I'm best prepared for. And again, every time I leave the gym, once I'm finished, I never regret showing up. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, if you're an entrepreneur like I am and like you, you, you have to have grit because you're going to have things that don't work out. Mm-hmm. Dream, like, you know, ideas they, for whatever reason. It's funny, you know, I'm in the, I'm in, I have a consulting business where I connect people and I hear that, hey, it's the next great. I said, well, maybe, but you never know what can happen. Anything can happen personally, professionally, just in life. Right. Anything can happen. And COVID, I think, is a true cornerstone for me. So I was actually a 2020 high school graduate. Okay. So the last three, four months of my high school career, so to call it, just got wiped clean. And yep. at that time, I did have commitments to come over to Great University. Our business was going to be Great Camp. And then all of a sudden, people aren't allowed to leave their homes. Yep. You're not allowed to be in groups of six or more people. You know, it was a mountain to overcome. And I think moving into that new form of myself after high school, kind of just a new way of life, honestly, yep. I learned to not only roll with the punches, but just maximize that effort and that yep. output to see the results I wanted, no matter what the situation you was. You know, and I, and I don't mean this for non-athletes. I'm not, not a, we got to wrap up here, but athletes know what grit is. You're, you compete as a professional surfer. 
right? Isn't that what you told me off the air? Or? Not quite professional. Okay, whatever. But you're, competitive, you're, you're, yes, You're sir. a competitive yeah. surfer. That's right. You've got to have grit. I mean, just paddling out in front of the, I've tried it. It's a, it's rough and tough, and you got to be tough as nails to do it. So it's easy for you to, to have grit, right? But the non-athletes are the ones we got to try to work on. Yeah, well, I think even at that, like I believe there are just three cornerstones you really should focus on. It's your physical health, your mental health, and your financial health. Yep. And the rest of it will fall into place from there. Yeah. So I, I don't think anyone could say, oh, I'm not an athlete. It's you didn't choose to become one. Right. At any time, you could decide to do that. And that's really where we start our other business, our podcast, the Grit Word podcast, yep. was all about highlighting entrepreneurs and business people who could share their pathway. And these people come from all different backgrounds, not necessarily all athletic but yep. they talk about the things they did to build grit in their life outside of sports. Oh, yeah, that totally. Really help them further their career in whatever. whatever Athlete or not, doing. you're building a business. You better have grit or it's not going to work. A whole lot of it. All right, grit.org. Is that how people can find you? Yes, sir. Grit.org. Awesome. Colby, great job. Thanks, Great Tommy. to have you, man. Appreciate yeah, that's it. cool. All right, grit.org. I'm all about grit, man. Let's go after it and get it done one way or the other. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations, check out more at IWantABuzz.com. Till next time, stay safe and be cool. We'll see you right here the horse's mouth. Cheers.